Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how to make your very own rosemary oil at home for faster hair growth, for preventing hair loss, and for thicker hair. So let's get started. Rosemary is mostly known as a culinary and a healing herb, but this also has some hair growth benefits when applied to the hair and scalp. Now, rosemary have anti-inflammatory properties, promote nerve growth, and improve circulation. And recent studies shows that rosemary directly helps protect against hair loss because it was found to be just as effective as a minoxidil, a common hair growth treatment, but with less scalp itching as a side effect. So if you want to thicken your hair or grow it fast at the same time, rosemary oil is a great choice because of its ability to improve cellular generation. Now the oil that I will be using here is the avocado oil because this oil is amazing for hair growth as well because it can unclog blocked follicles and promote blood flow, potentially preventing hair loss and encouraging hair growth. And also avocado oil is rich in antioxidants oxidants, minerals, essential fatty acids, biotin, vitamin A, B5, and E. So in here I will take snips of my rosemary herb and off topic but right now I am really obsessed with gardening and I love growing my own herbs for hair growth and I'm actually thinking of making a video about that topic soon. So I will be using this much. So in here, I just washed it just to make sure it's clean. And now I'm going to let it dry under the sun just to make sure that it is not damp at all. So in here, I will be doing kind of like a double boiling method. So in here, I added in the avocado oil. So in there, I will put in the rosemary. And then I added in castor oil and this is totally optional. Now I'm just going to let that sit and infuse in there for about 30 minutes. until it turns into this color. Then let it cool for another 30 minutes and then transfer it into this container right here. Now its shelf life is one month max. I find that actually using dried rosemary works best because if it has moisture or water, it can make your oil go bad quick. But however, this is not an issue if you use it immediately on your hair and not store it. Also for the application part, if you are using this for hair growth, definitely concentrate it on the scalp. Also one good thing about this is that if you have dry scalp this can help too because avocado oil is such a great moisturizer and conditioner for both your hair and scalp. And not only will I apply this on the top of my head but I will also lather this on my ends because I just love how this conditions and strengthens my ends as well and this is great for preventing split ends too. And so far I really do like its effect on my hair and scalp too because not only is it great for hair growth and preventing hair loss but I also love how this softens my hair. So that is it you guys. I hope you all liked this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and hopefully you guys like this healthy hair growth series. I will be making more videos around this kind of topic because I just realized that I actually have a lot of new subscribers that wants to grow their hair long and, and to some of you who just really wants to have healthy hair this year. And actually during quarantine I did a lot of experimentations in my hair for which I am going to be sharing with you guys very soon on the things that I did to my hair. So yeah, that's it. If you found this content valuable, please do share it to a friend and I will see you on my next video. Bye!